Hello there, morning all. 50 Cal Kennels here signing in. I haven't spoke for a while, but we've had a few problems, family problems, and uh, as you can see, we have got the white stuff. Yes, the white stuff is here. Yes, we've had some bad snow the past couple of days. Well, past three days, I think. Did clear a bit yesterday because we had some rain, but it looks like it's come back through the night. I think it started about three o'clock from what the camera said. Yeah, about three o'clock when it started again, roads was impassable. Main roads are all shut, side roads obviously. <laughs> well, let's just say the main roads are shut, you've got no chance. Uh, people are having to, people where we live, obviously farmers and stuff, they've, uh, they're still getting about, but then again, they've got tractors. They got traps. <laughs> yeah, so they can get. My lad's gone to work. Luckily, one of his friends picked him up. He's got four before, and even them are getting stuck round here. You know, that's how bad it gets when we get the snow here. But then again, I think last time we had it this bad was uh, five years ago. I think. I think that's what came up on my Facebook the other day. Five years when we had it. It was worse than this. Worse than this. I think we was in for a week. But. When you live in these sort of places like we live, you you get prepared. You uh, you know you keep plenty in the freezers, plenty of tin food, plenty of dog food in, so you know if it hits, you're going to survive for a couple of weeks. Let's just say that I think we got provinces for two weeks or something like that at times, but obviously still your milk and stuff and everything else. We have to get out now and then, which luckily we had a. A nice neighbour who was going into town yesterday and he got a big defender with off-road tyres on and he got there and back no problem at all so yeah it's like you say it's what you drive in this weather you drive a, a two-wheel drive car in the snow well you know it's going to end up not good is it unless you take about three hours on your journey and drive as slow as you can but then again you've got the idiots that come by you and they just end up in the ditch and then you have to wait why they get straight they get towed out of the ditch because you can't get by because it's country lanes but anyway back to the dogs all dogs are fine all doing well yeah we've had uh, there's been a few shorts we've put on of the dogs over the fields you know it's been fun for the kids but then again kids love it don't they building snowmen and stuff like that yeah i can see one track where i'm walking that somebody has actually been walking today so yeah and then, if I fall over, I fall over, you know what I mean? I've got my wellies on today, so I'm fully prepared today. So hopefully, you know, this is my first walk today. Just had my breakfast earlier on. Obviously I've had to, the dogs that live outside, obviously they're the main priority. But then again, there's only my Akita that's really outside. But then again, she's got two different things. She's got a wooden kennel, obviously insulated, and she's also got the American igloos, which are, well, the best, if you can get what I mean. You know, they are made for the worst weather conditions. So yeah, and plus she's in the key to, as if most people know, she's got a double coat, which is, you know, she, she loves the snow, to be honest with you. She's been rolling around in it this morning. She loves the cold weather, she don't like the hot weather, so, you know. She's my baby and she is uh, doing tickety-boo. She uh, loves the snow. Yeah, but the others, it's like quick in and out, quick and do the business, feed and back in. So yeah, I thought I'd just bring my dog DeBoyle out today. She's my old faithful. She's always by my side, here she is, look. There she goes, can you see her? Where is she? Come here, Bubba. There she is, my baby. Yeah, she loves her walks with her dad. Yeah, like I say, she's, uh, she's only six years old, so you know. She's full of life still, full of life. It's a breed that doesn't live a long life, but she's full of life. We look after her, she's healthy, you know. She's got an eater in her in her uh, place that she lives. We've got a shed with a hatch in it, and then she's got a kennel inside with a heater in. So yeah, she lives uh, probably the hottest life out of all of them. Yeah, so yeah, the snow's melting a bit as well. It's like, uh, it's just running away. So yeah, you know, it's, uh, it is what it is really, you know, I mean March, <laughs> going on to spring and the fields, let me show you, are covered in snow. There's the view. That's the view. 
of where we are walking. That is our view today. Yeah, some people love it, some people hate it. To be honest with you, I don't mind it. You know, <clears throat> you don't live in the country and drive a, a what's it, a mini, do you? Because obviously, you know, you ain't going to get out half the time. And plus the roads, even when the weather's nice, it's, you know, the roads can be dodgy around here. Got more potholes than <clears throat> you could ever imagine, which, uh, well, that's, that's council's fault, I suppose, or whoever wishes to take responsibility. Yeah, so uh, anyway, Crufts this weekend, people. If you're driving down or flying over or everything else, please stay safe because there is snow in Birmingham right by the NEC. Uh, I think up north's had more snow than we have. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know. I've been talking to uh, a few different people all around the country, Wales and Leeds and them sort of areas, and we seem to have had it bad up north. And then I've been talking to... Oh, nearly went then. Oh, nearly went. Then I've been talking to people down south and it's just raining. So... Yeah, it was nice yesterday, and then we had, oh, snow's blowing off the trees. And then for some reason, we had some crazy, crazy rain, and it started melting it all, and then all the mud come, and we thought that would be it. Come on, baby. We thought that would be it for the snow. But woke up this morning, and can't get out again. Yeah. Cars stuck in the road, people trying to get to work, you know. I know some people have to go to work, but the people that don't have to go, why bother? Why bother? Why do you do it? You know, you don't have to go to work. If you've, you know, a lot of people have to go to work, obviously, in today's society, money and, you know, stuff like that. And obviously emergency services, ambulances and so forth, you know, they have to go to work. They, are, you know, but then again, you know, the communities could all stick together like our communities do, you know, if the weather's bad, we help each other out. You know, if somebody's got a fall before and there's an old lady that's got no food or shopping or electricity or anything, you help them out, don't you? You go to the shop for them. But that's just me. I'm a old school. Oh, that was a bit slippy then. Nearly went on the, on the old uh, terracotta then. Yeah, so I uh, hope you're all all right anyway. Yeah, not a lot's happened. Like I say, stud, stud wise, AC's uh, Siemens come back as firing on all four. We've got the others to test as well, all the younger ones to test for studs. Studs will be available from April when they're a year old. Obviously, they're firing on four four cylinders at the minute, so we know their stuff's good. Yeah, obviously, as we all know, uh, Ace and we're two of my boys are off the world famous McLovin. They're his sons, and they're fantastic to be honest with you. Jordan's done us proud, and we were, you know, using that boy on my uh, Dutch import. So, you know, it's been uh, thanks to uh, Barry and them in the Netherlands for providing us with uh, Bella, obviously, outstanding female, full of life, full of spirit, full of everything, really. You know, she's a top-class dog. So, yeah, thank you very much, everybody who's helped us out. And to them who haven't, and them who will be on the keyboards and everything else, one word to say to you, fuck you all, because I don't give a fuck. I've been in the game a lot longer than you. Most of them before you were born, so don't even try and tr tell me about dogs or how to breed or how to look after dogs because you're talking to the wall, really, because the wall's going to listen more than I am because, obviously, I'm not saying I know everything, but I know a lot more than these ones that have been doing it since lockdown. Yeah, and reading books and looking on YouTube, yeah, we can all fucking do that, you know, it's a load of bollocks, really. We are who we are, you know. Uh, we've been in the game 40 years plus probably more. I don't even know. I only say 40. It's probably longer than that You know, what I mean, I've been having them. I've had dogs since my day. I can remember like I say my dad used to breed Jack Russell's and Lurchers and stuff like that. So, you know, right, let's have a spin round and go back up this way Yeah, you know, so People that are on their keyboard warriors on Facebook Instagram You know YouTube wherever you are You know if you ain't got nothing pleasant to say it's simple. Don't follow me don't like that you know don't drop any comments because they're all bullshit anyway you know so uh that's my that's my views on the uh yeah I'll, I'll help anybody out i'm not saying that you know we all started somewhere one day but it's when you get the the plastic gangsters and co that try and tell you they know more than you or they've done this and they've done that and they've done that they're talking bollocks sorry about the language everybody but today's you know, one of those days where I've got to have an opinion as well. You know, it's, uh, we are who we are. Don't like us, unfollow us, unsubscribe. Don't keyboard warriors, you know. 
we can all sit on a computer all day and talk bollocks. I'm glad about some people have got the time to do it. Right, let's have a little breather here at this gate. We walk down to the first field. Yeah, like I say, so don't try and tell me what I should do and what I shouldn't do and not do this and do that because you haven't got a clue. You seriously haven't got a clue what you're talking about. Like I say, we can we can all go on YouTube and watch our pups are whelped and this and that. We never had YouTube. We learnt the hard way sometimes, you know, but you learn by your mistakes, that's life. Yeah. Oh, I can see I need a bit of a shave, don't I? That keeps you warm though, this weather. Yeah, so it does keep you warm. Anyway, like I say, stud services will be available from April. Anybody wants to use my services, you know, we do travel the length and breadth of the country and we can export semen to any destination in the world within, normally within 24 hours. Obviously, sometimes different countries, Australia and things like that take a little bit longer. But, you know, we uh, we, we aim to provide a, a quality, so we won't say the best because, you know, there's other people out there. So, you know, we aim to provide a good service and a true, honest service, you know. Uh, Put wise, we don't know what we're doing this year. Like I say, uh, we're concentrating more on studs this year. Uh, but obviously, if you do show interest in pups, then you know we can. All, if we don't, we can always point you in the right direction of people, trusted people, not Mickey Mouse people. Yeah, I'd like to say hello back to my old mucker as well. Uh, well, welcome back, Mark, on your transportation services. I'm always here to help you. Not driving though, oh, no, I do enough of that myself, you know, I don't want to do your sort of hours, 24 hours plus driving, you know, you're a warrior in that respect and I'm glad we, you, we've got you back after all the same again, the keyboard warriors and the idiots trying to tell you different things, like you say there's millions of people in this world and they've got nothing else better to do than slag people off, nah, there's something wrong with the society. Yeah, so welcome back Mark, uh, stay safe as well on these roads because I know you've been up to Scotland and everything else and... Them roads up there are, well, a lot worse than down here, so, you know, stay safe. And all up north's been bad, I've heard Leeds is bad, uh, Wales obviously, I know is bad, really snow drifted in Wales. So yeah, everybody please stay safe, because, you know, you only got one life, and is it worth going to the shops for something you don't really need, and risking your life in your cars? It's not. If it's an essential, yeah. And all the kids out there, have some fun, you know, get your sledges out. Uh, our sledge broke last time, so you know, we didn't get another one. I wish we had a done because our little uh, our little dog, God Almighty, he'd pull, he'd pull me along on it. I think the mad power our spot's got. He's an up and coming stud as well. Uh, fantastic dog, bone structure's amazing on him. Uh, and a little stripy knight, that's his obviously brother. Both the same, both blue tri mills, not mills, sorry, both blue tries. Uh, like I say, going to be some fantastic, some fantastic dogs. They're looking quality. But then again, I know it's down to genetics, but we do try and feed the best, of, the best of the best. You know, they have the healthiest diets. Uh, like I say, we're on it 24/7. We've been concreting. We've had to stop. Obviously, luckily, they never delivered the concrete. They tried to blag us that they wanted more money in different prices. We told them to shove it. We'd do it ourselves. So I'd sooner knock it up in a mixer than I would you know mess about doing people trying to charge me an extra 80 quid because it's two weeks into march or something and i'm standing there waiting for the concrete to be delivered well you know what you can do with that concrete don't you, you can shove it where the sun don't shine like i say i'm glad in a way because it all fell right because obviously if it had a come <laughs> it'd probably been you know because obviously it's water inside the concrete it's going to freeze it's ruined concrete so yeah so that's as planned this year. Obviously, we'll be concrete and we've had fences all done. There'll be some new kennels going up. Uh, we log cabin for my son. Da, 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 it never stops. But then again, I'd like to say a big, well, uh, a big um, RIP as well to a true warrior, my Shane, Shane Radford. Sad, sadly, lost his life beginning of this week to cancer. I'm not 100% sure how old he was, but I know he was probably only in his 30s. You know, it's a crippling, terrible disease. You know, it's uh, so big respects out to your family, mate. You was a warrior until the until your last breath, basically. 
you know, a lot would have given up a lot soon. But you had to support your family and friends, you know. Uh, so I'm so sorry to everybody out there, you know. So yeah, that's. Uh, I think that's it for this video. All stay safe anyway and enjoy yourselves. And like I say, we're always free to comment. You know, if you want to give us a bell, my numbers are on Instagram and so forth. Or you want to drop comments, you know, it's up to, you know, I'm always here to help people in any respect. Uh, and like I say, if people don't listen, then oh, that's it, don't speak to me, you know, you know, you know, I can only advise you. And if you want to take it your own way and do it a different way, don't blame me. Yeah, so anyway, uh, I hope you're enjoying the snow wherever you are. And if not, then, you know, wherever you are in the world, just stay safe, everybody. Peace out everyone, 50 Cal Kennel signing out, bye. Yeah. <laughs>